access and it's new and it's different. Managing those rides and then supporting all our customers after they have their rides at their parks. So our engineers took the concept of rotating free spin and burned it on its axis. I'm Chris Reynolds, I'm a mechanical engineer uh, here at SNS Worldwide. Hi, I'm Preston Perks with SNS Worldwide and I'm the Executive Director of Administration. My name is Paul Latin. I'm a structural engineer by background. I'm the director of engineering at SNS. The ride that we have most recently been spending a lot of time developing is our Axis ride. The Axis ride uh, rotates the individual um, along the longitudinal axis as the vehicle is traveling along its course. The idea of Axis actually stemmed from a product development uh, process. We typically like to try and obviously use our team to come up with ideas and uh, we've been through many 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 different iterations of different ideas. Uh, this particular one though came from one of our employees that submitted it do, during our biannual uh, process and when we we grade those ideas and with this particular idea we knew that there was some potential. Our uh, product development team and specifically engineers uh, reviewed that idea and looked through the concepts, um, obviously looked at what's out there today and uh, identified and morphed that into something that actually functioned. We got to the point where we recognized that we definitely needed to, uh, number one, prove the concept, make sure it worked and did what we wanted it to do, um, and validate that those things would work, um, and then uh, confirm that it was a fun and enjoyable experience. Uh, where the seats do spin and the front row is going to spin a little different than the back row and the left seat actually has a slightly different experience than the right seat because you're on the different side of the pivot. So make sure every person in every seat uh, who is experiencing the same roller coaster but in slightly different ways, they're all experiencing it safely. Thin the prescribed loads and forces and, and making sure things aren't too jerky, too whippy, but still making sure it is would be enough to be fun and forceful enough to be fun because people do like force, people do like whip, but you also don't want to overdo it and, and finding that balance has been tricky, but, but it's kind of fun. Our intention was to have the ride be able to rotate in a more predictable manner. So the ride velocity, the ride layout, and to some degree the mass uh, dictate that rotation rather than that being random, which makes for a super cool ride because you can kind of predict where you're going to rotate. The, the challenge of, of prototyping that is that you model it, make your best stab at, at uh, dynamics with engineering, using dynamic analysis, multi-body analysis. I tried to create this layout, a, a layout for axis, but as I'm going through and things aren't acting the way I want to do, I have to go tweak things and then it just kind of forms into this new beast that I didn't necessarily intend for initially, but it kind of just, it works its way through. I give it kind of a, the initial, this is where I want you to go and then the axis, just because of the way it's swinging and, and rocking and everything, it says, well, I actually want the track to do this to make sure we're within these limits. How we uh, go through the axis layout development uh, I always start off in, in No Limits, which is awesome. We have this set up and scripted for seats to actually act the way they should act in real life, or at least come close. It's a good first guess. And this, this design that we're looking at here isn't a finalized design. Um, I'm still working on it. It's, it's just a generic 2,000 foot layout. It gives us a good idea of approximate length, approximate uh, uh, geometry and track layout to make sure things are spinning and working the way they're supposed to work. Uh, we use a, a more robust tool to actually uh, make sure the ride's performing the way it's supposed to perform, to make sure the forces aren't too great, to make sure the seats are spinning the way they're supposed to spin. And we use Adam's Dynamics, and this is going to shoot through it really quick, but this, this is able to go through and simulate the actual ride. In this, I've added air resistance and friction and um, the damping in the spoons, uh, just how much it, we have that all control to make it as smooth and as fun as possible. Um, and this one obviously still needs work. There's some places in there where 
like the fourth row doesn't spin for some reason, we'll run it and then I'll have to go tweak something and maybe even move something just by a degree or by an inch or something just to have it act just slightly different so that it's within safe limits, uh, but still a lot of fun. Uh, we spent a little time developing our own in-house magnets. We, um, we spent some time testing that capability and predicting the resistance that that magnet would provide, the damping that it would provide as it goes around the turns. The ride as we prototyped it ended up being spot on to our predictions. We, we anticipated we'd be spending time trying to adjust that ride and make it uh, more flexible, more, uh, you know, you never know what you're gonna end up having to do with a prototype. We anticipated we'd have to do that. It was it was uh, right on exactly more or less what we predicted with our dynamic models. We did what we anticipated it doing, and then with writing it, confirmed that it really was a one of a kind experience.